He just cannot be caught. Oh, right to the... He may get the three count right here. This is it. One, two, three. And we win. Let's go. Just like how it was in 2020 when, we, when Undertaker beat the shit. Here is your winner, the King. Oh, look at all the blood the on my forehead. Oh my Jesus. But I still won. Let's go. Picking up a major win right there. I'm not impressed at all by AJ Styles' effort tonight. Well, I mean, he tried. I don't think anybody would have expected anything less from a match here at Extreme Rules. That was the absolute definition of vicious. Yes, I had my head bleeded. I cut some bruises on my head, but still, I win. All oh, for the under. <laughs> okay, let's get on here. To the lobby. Hey, it's X Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. That's I true. Can. Trey, Pac, what's going on? What's up, man? Hey, guys, looking good. You too. Thanks. I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in, mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in, I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. But yeah. enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 mm -hmm. years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? No, that's not good. Oh, okay. Anyway... We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you, so thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. Oh, bruh. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. Hmm, interesting. I was tr I was trash. Now I'm not trash. Well, of course I wasn't trash. I beat the shit out of AJ Styles. Hey, you can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. It's hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean... A big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart That's about true. the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Do hey, you know, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. That's true. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver! Mm-hmm. Let's go. I'm guessing we'd pick up Free Girl on the way there. Or if we're going to college? I don't know. Fucking no. I don't fucking know. Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. Oh, that's <laughs> bad. This is gonna be cool. I know. 
Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Yes, yeah, Just of course like they did. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. Just like that. Uh, huh. No lying involved, well, not whatsoever. We're hey, fine. Pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. That's kind of true. So we got a message. I know you left, but miss you already. Good luck at college. Yeah, it's almost like I am not going to college. Uh, okay. Hello, my lovers. Okay, we're here. Let's continue. Alright. Time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have, like, 2,000 miles to go. Come on. I'll get you started with some options. How about... Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper. Is Undertaker on the is Undertaker on the Okay. I okay, all these guys okay. No, I don't wanna play. All this is trash. Okay, fine, be a grump. But let me know if you wanna play later. It's possible. Mm. Nah. All those, all those guys are trash. I would beat them all easily. Easily. They would all be beaten okayly by AJ Styles, which is, and I beat him easily. So with them, I would beat them easily. So nah. Waste of time. It's a waste of my time. I'm sorry, but it's a waste of my time. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear. I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well... Here we go. Uh -huh. Hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Yeah. Hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Bret home right now? He is. Hang on a sec. Bret, two lovely people are here for wrestling training. He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's got to look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So Brett's not home? No, and he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens like once a month, and I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I yeah, gave myself boy. severe stomach issues. Oh, man. At this Come point, on. we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez. Oh, oh, so much you, for man. Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon in wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. Bro, hey, okay. we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. 
Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face. Probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! I have an idea, girl. Come on, just let me say it. So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Mm. 